everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a foundation review for you guys today and it's all going to be about the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I was so excited about trying this foundation and today I'm going to be telling you guys what I think about it and how it applies as well and yeah so I'll just jump straight into this video just to let you guys know that this foundation does retail for around £30 and I got the shade Caramel. It does say that this foundation is a medium to full coverage and that it's like an invisible, indetectable foundation. It is oil free so I was a bit sceptical about that because I do have dry skin but it's still meant to be quite hydrating and it's really good for normal to dry skin types as well as from what I've read. So I have been wearing this foundation for quite a while now and once you apply this foundation you can instantly see that it gives you good coverage but still looks quite natural I mean if you put a bit more it does go on the heavier side I would say so you definitely get good coverage out of this foundation I prefer to use a brush to apply this foundation I haven't really tried it with a sponge because seriously I haven't used a damn beauty blender in ages it's, and it's kind of because I need to get a new one but I absolutely love how this foundation applies with a brush it just looks so so smooth and it is what I've got on today Day. oh and by the way guys I did film a tutorial on this look so it'll probably already be up on my channel by now so I'll leave a link in the info box if you guys want to check that video out but it is what I'm wearing today and I absolutely love it it's so worth the money and oh my god I don't know how I lived without this foundation up until now I am quite late to the game but it's so worth it in terms of longevity it lasts all day long, no smile lines, I mean I do get naturally a little bit but trust me I've had like massive ones with other foundations but with this one it's minimum and it doesn't um, separate around my mouth area like some foundations do and I was so shocked about that instantly. I don't really have to colour correct with this foundation around my mouth area which I absolutely love, it's the perfect colour and I think I think that's it really. It's just a really good foundation and it's so worth the money. And again, yeah, caramel is the perfect colour for me. I am around, I would say NC43 with MAC now because NC45 or NC44 is too dark and then NC42 is too light so I would say NC43. It lasts all day long, doesn't budge and it literally makes your skin look so so flawless. It doesn't dry my skin out and it just makes your skin look very even, very flawless and I just absolutely love this foundation. I mean, definitely a 10 out of 10 for this foundation. I just absolutely love it. I know what all the hype is about. It's just, I just love the fact that it's the right color. It doesn't, it lasts really, really well on the skin. It doesn't give me smile lines. It doesn't dry me out. Um, and it just, it's just a really good foundation. So yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10. This will probably be a really quick video but I, I'm just so happy about this one. You guys did want me to talk about the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer quickly in this video because um, since my USA haul video you guys wanted to know what my thoughts were on this and again, definitely, I'm really sorry to say this but it's much better than the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. With this you just need like a tad bit, like. With my Urban Decay one I do use a lot but with this one I just go like a swipe just a bit more and it's just it's just such good coverage and I'm so happy with the colour you guys were sending me a lot of messages on Snapchat um, asking me about the colour and I would have not I, I'm so happy about Tan Sand it's just the perfect warmth and perfect lightness of the concealer that really brightens my under eye and covers really really well and I do like to use it on my lid as well to just prime my lids and it literally you don't get any creasing with your eyeshadow there's absolutely minimal creasing with this like you don't even see any creasing I mean everyone naturally gets a, a little bit when you kind of pull down but when you look at my eyes there's not really any creasing whatsoever so I'm really really happy about this and when I run out I'll probably buy some more from the US because you can't really get this here and I will buy, be buying it with Gosen obviously and by the way Gosen is how I get my um, products from America shipped to the UK so if you guys want to know a bit more about that there will be a link in the info box about you know getting American products to the UK I'm just so happy about these two purchases I'm really really happy like I cannot rave enough about them and by the way this video is not sponsored in any way I just really genuinely like them and even if it was sponsored I will always give my honest opinion. 
as you all know. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I try to answer all your comments and answer all your questions. And um, yeah, link to these products will be in the info box and... I think that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you want more foundation reviews. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye guys!